So I always get asked a lot to do a room tour, and I have never done one of these before, so please bear with me. It's gonna be kind of a long video, so I mean, I, I haven't edited it yet, obviously, because I'm still filming, but it's fine, it's cool, you know, we're, me and you, we're gonna hang out for like 20 minutes, we're gonna be going through my makeup room, you're gonna see some cool drawings, some cool paintings, some cool makeup, and a paper towel holder that I really do not like. And also, my boss has that. And I also am totally sick during this video, so if I'm like a little bit spacey, it's because I just feel like... <sighs> I know, that was probably a really, really beautiful face. And even though this isn't a makeup video, don't forget to go to Facebook and check out my page, Made You Look By Lex, and like it. All the products I use today will not be listed below the video because I'm not using any products and I'm not listing all the products that I have because it'll be a very long list. If you guys have any questions about the palettes that I show, comments, concerns, feel free to contact. Okay, so this is a general overview of my entire makeup room, and I've never done like a makeup tour kind of thing before, so please bear with me. Over on this wall, I have the lovely, the amazing Dante and Diego. Behold. If you guys have been following me for a little while, you guys know that I painted these lovely beauties onto my wall. And over on this wall, which is across from Dante and Diego, you will find everything else. But I guess I'll start with my little desk area. In this top drawer, I keep all my contacts and then just kind of like random cleaning supplies in there. And then I have my paper towels, which I hate this paper towel stand, let me show you. And I'm sure none of you care about my paper towel stand, but I hate this thing. Like, I just hate it so much. I cannot tear my paper towels properly. It is just, I hate it. I think I might go get a new one tomorrow. I don't like that it's so shiny. I don't even know why I got this. I do not like it at all. So above my lovely desk area, I have me, um, nope, that's, I'm talking like a pirate. I have my four picture frames of drawings. These two are what you could see most in the background of my videos. This one is just sea life, and this is done in color pencil and a little bit of marker. And then this one is all owls, as you can obviously see, and this one is done in color pencil and marker. And in this one, it hasn't exactly been filled yet, but I just have it with like random props and random stuff that I have had in like my makeup video. And then next to that, I have this lovely couple. I have no idea who they are, but they look like they're very happy. This frame obviously has not yet been filled. Moving on to this big rack of stuff, I guess I'll just go through the shelves kind of one by one and show you guys some of what's on each. On this top shelf, it's all of my giveaway stuff. Well, not all of it. I have some in a box too, which I'll show you guys later. But um, this stuff has not been given away yet. Obviously, it's still at my house. I'm just not moving my hands around like I do because it's shaking the camera. But anyways, um, I have Malibu Palette, San Francisco, Hollywood, and then I also have Mehron Paradise paints that I have not given away yet. Woohoo! Up on this shelf over here, I have all of my matte chroma cakes, and then I also have a lot of Mehron Paradise paints, which are all of these black um, cases. And then I also have my little water bottle, which I use these to wet down the paints because these are all water-based, so you need water to activate them. I also have these metallic paints, and these are by Wolf Effects. And these are pretty cool, but if I'm going to be doing like metal-type things, I prefer to use the Mehron Metallic Powder, and I do have them in every color because I really like them. And I also have multiples of every color. I also have my MAC acrylic body paints, which you guys will see a lot of these in my past videos that were more towards Halloween, and these are great for being used on movable parts like your elbows, your knees, because this paint will stretch when you're moving as opposed to the water base that's going to crack unless you seal it. And these Paradise paints just smell like so good. You just open them, wet them down, you can smell them a little bit. Not a lot. Like seriously though, don't be sitting there like inhaling these, but they do smell really good. And as soon as you open them, you're pretty much going to have your entire room smell like this paint and it smells like coconut. So if you don't like coconut, don't get these. Since I just showed you the um, Mehron grain, I guess I'll show you the matte grain. One thing that I don't like about the Chroma Cakes is that they can fall right out of their packaging. Especially if you drop them, which you shouldn't drop them, but it happens. So it can be good that it falls out, but I don't know. I would rather have my makeup, you know, stay where it's supposed to unless I have to get it out with a knife to like mix it with other colors. I just don't like that it falls out. So MAC has two different greens and I know Mehron has a couple greens too, but I'll show you the lighter one because that is the same as Mehron. I mean, you can see they're not the same color, but I'm saying it's like, it's their version of their light green. These are my Ket foundations, which I like so much more than any of these Time 2 colors. And let me tell you, I've been using Time 2 for like a long time. I'm not like a big airbrusher, but 
I just, I feel like the Tab 2 clogs my airbrush a lot more than it should. So all these bags back here, these are also Tab 2 um, foundations, but I don't use them, so I keep my cat ones out front. And then I have this random like nail glue going on back here, and I don't really know why this is here. A lot of you guys asked me about my compressor and my airbrush, but I'm not exactly ready to give a full review on different airbrushes and different compressors. I just haven't used my airbrush enough to feel comfortable giving you guys a full review of my opinions on different airbrushes and stuff like that. I wanna be more comfortable with it so I give you guys you know, good information. Moving down to my lower shelf, as you guys can see, I have a lot of makeup palettes. These definitely have built up over the years. I have a lot of BH Cosmetics, I have a lot of Too Faced, um, I have a lot of Urban Decay. That's actually mainly what I have. I mainly have Urban Decay that I like to use on myself, on clients, and also Too Faced stuff. A lot of the BH Cosmetics stuff I use for my bigger looks because it is cheaper makeup, but it still definitely gets the job done and it still is pigmented. You have a lot more options for a cheaper price. This Midnight Cowboy palette is actually super, super old. I do not even use this anymore because makeup does have an expiration date. I don't know if you guys know that or not, but um, I have this because it is one of my first palettes and I like to hold on to it. And as you guys can see, I actually have my room matched to this palette. I actually lay all these palettes out so you guys can see what they look like on the inside. If maybe you guys decide that you want to get one of these, some of these are unavailable um, now because they are kind of older, but, um, yeah, just so you guys can see the ridiculous amount of colors that I have going on amongst all of these palettes. This side over here is also pretty boring. It's a lot of stencils. Um, actually there are quite a few stencils that I won. They're from European Body Art and some of them are like really, really good stencils. I have one from Daenerys. Um, let's see. Yeah, like this is a European body art stencil. I haven't used this one yet, but it's tire tracks. So this will be really good for like a zombie look that got run over by, you know, like a dirt bike. I also have random fish nuts. <whistles> Just kidding, I use these to make myself into a fish. And then also some fake nails for teeth and maybe some spikes and whatever else I feel that I can use them for. In this box, I do have other giveaway stuff that I have not given away yet, like Victoria's Secret Super Sparkly Makeup Bag, another Bullyville t-shirt, which is super awesome. On this middle shelf, I have all of my clean brushes. These are going to be my brushes. They're still in the works, so these aren't, you know, the official ones, but I'm all happy with them, so they get their own jar. Then I also have my dirty brushes. I like to keep everything separate. All these are my European Body Art airbrush paints, and they are pretty big compared to, like, other airbrush paints that you get. So I really like them, and I also like the colors and the smell. I think they kind of smell like bubblegum. I don't know, that might just be me, so like if you get them, they don't smell like bubblegum. That's just, you know, me having a weird nose. And then my computer. This side isn't as exciting for all you makeup geeks like me, but it's more just like a creativity side. These are all of my acrylic paints. They're just for regular painting, they're not for body painting. Down here I have other art supplies, markers, a little bit more paint. I have pencils, I have, I think I already said markers, but I'm saying it again. Down here it gets extra boring for those of you guys who do not know what this stuff is, I have Prosade, liquid latex, alcohol, um, I have this mixing liquid which I do use that with the metallic powders that I showed earlier. Moving on out here, I have all of my glitter for my glitter tattoos, these are the stencils and this is, you know, the glue for it. I have a lot of my old eyeshadow that I started out with because I did start with eyeshadow, I did not start with body painting and stuff like that. That all came later on. Next drawer is just more eyeshadows. I like to get like samples of different products from different companies and just kind of test them out, see what they're all about. And then I have a lot of cold chemistry um, from Sugar Pill and a lot of Lime Crimes Velveteens because I went to IMATS and I stocked up on them because they're always sold out all the time. And this box actually doesn't have anything in it. This is also one of the first makeup like full kits that I actually started out with and it used to have blush in here and some eyeshadow and there's also eyeshadow on the inside and it is super creepy because it's a music box and it still works. Very honestly guys, if that does not give you nightmares, I do not know what book. Moving on to my lower shelves, I have a whole bunch of tools, a whole bunch of stuff that is just like just random stuff and random kits for special effects stuff that I'm getting into. This drawer, I have all sorts of clay in here. I have 
um, oil-based clay, water-based clay, and I also have like Sculpey, which is what I use to make my Queen of Hearts um, heart out of. Okay, so these are majority of the palettes opened up that were over on that shelf. I don't have all of them open because they don't all fit on my desk. So I want to go over a couple palettes that I particularly like for certain reasons, such as just packaging and for reasons that I actually like the makeup within. One of the coolest makeup palettes that I have is this New York City palette by Urban Decay. And the reason that it's so cool is because it opens up into a city. Yeah. And I also like the colors that are in it. Um, there's a lot of, it's really darker colors, but they're all good for smoky eye. Like, I, I, I don't know if this palette's available anymore. But I do know that some of these colors, like Perversion, Midnight Cowboy, um, Rockstar, which is actually pretty much the same as Busted in the Naked 2 palette. So those are definitely soft. I have another Urban Decay palette that opens up into butterflies. Just like the other palette, I don't think that these are um, available anymore like as a palette, but I know these colors definitely are available, like Sidecar, Smog, Baked. Actually, quite a few of these are the same as the other one. So they definitely got me with packaging. Also, of course, you guys all know that I love my Naked palettes. This is the Naked 2 palette, and the Naked 2 palette is more shimmery than the original Naked palette. Um, but I still like the colors in here, and I'm not really a huge fan of glitter or shimmer, so that really says a lot. And then this is the Naked 1 palette, which I show in, like, I think, like, my second video. But this is a new one because I got a couple of these when they first came out in case they were ever discontinued because I would be so sad if I did not have this palette because I just love it so much. I mean, it's not too much different than the Naked 2 palette, but there definitely are a lot less shimmery colors in this one. And then the last one that I'm going to go over, this is a Rock Forever Makeup Forever palette. And I don't know if this is still available or not either. You have to check into that. But this is also one of my favorite palettes and definitely one of those where it's like you can tell I use it a lot because there is eyeshadow all over the palette. But not enough to wear it down yet. But I really do like it. I really like the shimmery black and I don't like shimmer. You know, maybe I secretly do like shimmer, but I just convinced myself that I don't. I'm sure it happens. It's kind of weird, but you know, I'm kind of a weird person.